Freedom! Can you smell the freedom? Freedom isn't free. It just costs a lot to you and me. Comment below. What reference is that from? Now, if you're gonna sing the song, you gotta be on camera. So, yep, we're on the vlog. Yay! Yay! We're on the vlog. So yeah, restrictions were lifted here in New South Wales the other day. So we're out enjoying it. We're out enjoying it by taking a load of plastic to a supermarket. Homeschooling is still taking place, at least for a couple of weeks. And uh, not a dramatic amount has changed. However, in the riding world, it does mean we can ride further than 5Ks. So we just might do that. But we probably won't because it's, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get to that. How were you feeling yesterday? Good. <laughs> by, by good, do you mean throwing up into a bucket? Either that or a massive lack of sleep. Freedom is upon us because we are safe, ladies and gentlemen. Well, the man, the myth, <laughs> the superhero, Elizabeth's favourite superhero. Favorite superhero. Hey, Spidey. <laughs> Sorry, Peter. What a time to be alive. I can't believe you think I'm going to be smug about this. You're 100% going to be smug like this and we both know it. This is the only time in today's vlog you will see me without a hat. The only thing that's busier than supermarkets up there are men's barbers. It is like lines around the street. So it's hats and just not visible from here on in. It's freedom day. It's raining. So I'm going to rant. Okay? That's how it works. Right. I want to get a get this off my chest bike fits so this is obviously because people ask me questions about this and yes I have had a thousand bike fits in my life but I need to get this off my chest there is no bike fit out there that is putting 15 watts on your threshold all right no bike fitter worth their salt is claiming that that is the end result of your bike fit you do a bike fit for two reasons all right two reasons the first is the potential the potential of injury prevention okay the other is mental, and this is the category that I fall into. It's purely mental. It's just, all right, I'm in the right spot now, all good, happy, out the door, go training. Like, they, they are the two reasons you get a bike fit. Now, do I recommend a bike fit? Where do I get a bike fit, etc., etc., etc.? I don't tend to push them many places, but what I do say is this, and this is especially true, this is especially true if we're now in the world of the integrated bike, because once you're in this world, retrofitting your fit after the fact is nigh on impossible. So, if you are pre-purchase, I'll put a list below of some really good independent guys who do bike fits. So you go in, you do your bike fit, they'll recommend a few independent brands and they're not trying to retrofit you, they can actually put you in the right place. And I, I think there's genuine value to that. But the idea of going in with some massively integrated bike and expecting to find 15 watts on them moving you half a centimeter up or down is just not gonna happen, guys. Please. Please get that out of your heads. Maybe it's just a Melbourne thing, but please. Before I do go, how funny is the uh, specialized SL7 situation? T to me, that is just hilarious. You just can't ride the bike now. Look, I don't have anything against specialized. I just never drunk the, sp the specialized Kool-Aid, and I kind of find it funny. Because like, I look at the design, and I just go, well, duh. Like, what do you think was gonna happen? I hope no good bike fitter suggested that bike, because, uh -uh. mm -mm. I'll put the list below of guys that in Sydney are right. When people ask me, Chris, how do you keep your white shoes so white? I tell them. I also own black shoes. You are probably wondering, why isn't he riding his gravel bike? This is like, he goes on and on about how he trains on his gravel bike. 
especially in the rain, blah, 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 and he's not riding it. True. Reason for that, two reasons for that actually. So basically what's happened here is look, I've decided to, to get SRAM for the, for the mountain bike. And, and well, <laughs> basically it was one of the only ones I could get. But also, so here's the thing. My, my gearing on the gravel bike is a total stitch up. It's, it's shit, right? So I've got like a 32 tooth at the back and like 40 tooth on the front. It's just like useless. It's, it's not even good for riding around Sydney. So I'm a bit pissed off by that. But I thought, okay, we'll get a SRAM derailleur and cassette for the mountain bike. And therefore I would have a system that's interchangeable. So I could potentially put what I get for the mountain bike on the gravel bike for a better gravel days. Again, like, it's pretty pissed with what ended up happening with the gravel bike, but so still waiting for the, those parts to arrive. All that stuff's out at Aaron's, so I don't have it with me. But we might get away with this. freedom guys look at me I'm just so adventurous being this free in a location that no one's ever visited <laughs> sorry pull yourself together Chris <clears throat> one of the sessions that <clears throat> I've been doing a bit just in these look, I'll get into this at a different vlog and just talk about my riding. <laughs> One of the sessions that I have relied upon, I li relied along, relied upon a bit, has just been this big gearing thing. And I know a lot of people talk about that and I know Dan's not a particular fan of it, but I found I've just been doing it wrong my whole life, really. So I've always kind of just ground it out and what a lot of the time that's meant is getting like my bum off the saddle and like wobbling about like grinding each gear. Whereas the benefits seem to come from really trying to lock yourself in place and fully engage the core and the glutes. And you know you're getting it right because you know, 30 or 40 seconds in, it's just glute burn, pure glute burn instead of just like a mash. So I've just been doing a few 5311 up Lock Avenues there. Headwind, headwind. Makes it harder. Choose headwinds to do these things. One of the hard things to get right with a session like this though is the rest period. And I don't get it right. I'd, I'd like your opinion on it. I probably do them too quickly, like every round on lock. So like every four minutes. But like it's max effort a lot of it, so I probably need longer. So what do you guys think? How long between reps to get the benefit? One of the other reasons I wanted to ride this bike today is there is not a lot of info out there on this group set. There really isn't. Um, but one of the theory occurring themes from the first iteration of it was it had issues in the wet. So they're keen for us to test that out. Why they gave it to me to test in the wet is anyone's guess, because that's not gonna happen, but you can kind of see where I'm going with that. So again, this is something that's gonna follow in the next couple of weeks, months. Um, myself, Leo and Dylan have got the group and we're gonna be the ones testing it out, so. Ten years on and that light rail is still a hole in the earth on George Street. For all Gladys is good, there's still some failings. Now, I just, just wanted to quickly come back to the bike, the bike fit thing. I was just thinking there. The other thing we hear all the time is this, look, yes, it's a great way of avoiding injury, but it's also not the solution to a lot of injuries. I think people very much get caught up in this sort of cause and effect thing of, oh, my hip's sore, so I must be too bent over, or 
eternally looking for issues with their bike fit that relate to certain pains on the bike. Certain pains on the bike, a lot of the time are just because you're pushing yourself athletically. You know, uh, I just sometimes feel like it's, that does get lost when we're out there pushing ourselves that yeah, it's gonna hurt sometimes. It's a good hurt, like that can be, that can be when the gains are made. Anyway, that's the last sort of comment on that stuff. Cause I'm gonna finish with a positive, guys. I really wanna finish with a positive today. Wahoo, it just like sunk before I'd even like, put, take my shoes off. In very surprising news, Operation Keep Nana and Papa's Fish Alive has been a success and it's been my responsibility, so I'm, I'm amazed. Anyway, uh, look, the only thing I wanted to finish up with, guys, is, you know, freedom, freedom isn't free, all that kind of stuff, we're, we're out and about now. I just wanted to, to say this, so, now obviously, this, this comes very much from a position of privilege that you know, none of us got sick. We were in a position where we were able to isolate and be in a bubble and, you know, work and logistics wasn't a big stress. We weren't traveling a lot for that. So we were vaccinized, vaccinated. And yeah, so certainly taken with a grain of salt from what, what I say, but I do want to say this, and that is that we've really enjoyed this period. Now, it's been incredibly hard We've viewed it very much as a unique opportunity to try and, well, let's be honest, like, I, I never would have thought in a million, Elizabeth and I never would have believed for a second we would be educating our primary school aged kids. And that has been quite unique and it's been a privilege. And the reason I say that is not that everyone who has that same feeling should jump on YouTube and tell everyone that it was actually okay, but what I think maybe you should do is say that to your family. You know, if, if you have enjoyed this, well, why not tell them? Because I think that this is a really unique opportunity for us as a society and for you as a family nucleus to kind of come together and say, you know what? Yeah, it was hard, but I don't know. I just kind of feel like there's this underlying thing that you have to say that it's been really hard and oh, I can't wait for things to open up. It's... If you have enjoyed sharing this experience with your family, tell them. That's all I wanted to say. Actually, just that bit. Ignore the rest of it. If you've enjoyed this experience, tell your family because you'll look back at this in 10 years and be just like, wow. Uh, make sure you subscribe to the channel. I'm gonna really get back into this now. I'm, I'm super keen to do it. Let me know. All today was shot on the, on the phone. Uh, and also, I would like to uh, do another interview with, with someone else in the team. So let me know who you'd like to hear from, because we can do something. Alrighty guys, thanks again for watching.